Three local fast food workers in San Diego are, are claiming they were retaliated against for going on strike this week. San Diego Six's Tabitha Lipkin talked with one of the employees who says she's just asking for a living wage. No justice, no peace. I went on a strike yesterday for fast food workers um, all over the country and well today they're not letting me go back to work. Carmen Villa has been working for Burger King owned and operated by JS Foods for almost a year. But after joining thousands of workers from around the country on strike Thursday, she says she was told not to clock in to work. Today, uh, upon returning to work, was asked not to clock in. And Carmen wasn't the only one. Two other employees of JS Foods also claimed they were retaliated against by their employers. Michaela Milliken is a community coordinator whose job is to ensure that workers' rights are not violated. She believes in this case, Carmen's and the other two workers' rights work. If a group of workers gets together and say they want to fight for better wages, benefits, or working conditions, they have the right to do so. That's protected under the federal law that provides that a worker can go on strike. Carmen was just one of more than 350 fast food workers who decided to strike this week in San Diego County, demanding two things a higher wage, and the right to unionize. I think it's important because uh, there's so many people in San Diego that cannot make their ends meet, and I am one of those people who struggle to whether to pay one bill or another, my rent or my phone bill. We reached out to JS Foods and Burger King for comment and were asked to leave the restaurant. Carmen, who says she lives day by day, just wants to return to work. But right now, it is my job, and I really do need the money and the, the time, you know, and I'm just really trying to go back to work. Tabitha Lipkin, San Diego 6 News. And attorneys on behalf of the workers are expected to file a lawsuit against JS Foods on Monday.